Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the May 2016 Grade 7 8 Contest, Question 16, which also came up in the Grade 9 10 and 11 12 contests. So the question is let us assume the Earth's equator is exactly 40,075 kilometers long, and one could bike on it once around the world. Which extra distance, in addition to the equator's length, would the head of the cyclist travel if it is two meters above the ground? All right. Now, the equator has the shape of a circle. Now, the length of the equator is the circumference of that circle. Now, we need to know the formula for the circumference of a circle. Well, that formula is C, which will be the circumference, equal to 2 times pi times the radius of that circle. Now, in the case of the equator, we would then have the circumference of the equator, so C sub E, which is equal to, well, 2 times pi still stays the same, but then times the radius of the equator. All right. Now, from the question, we can see we, it says, which extra dis distance, in addition to the equator's length, would the head of this cyclist travel if it is 2 meters above the ground? Well, again, the head of the cyclist also follows a circular path around the Earth. So again, we want to find the circumference of that circle. Well, we will write the C, again, circumference, but now we will write an H, which represents the head. So C sub H, and this is equal to, well, again, we will have to write the two pi since that doesn't change. But now, we know that it is two meters above the ground, so it would be the radius for the circle of the equator, so r sub e, plus the two meters, since the head is always two meters above the ground all the way around the earth. So r sub e plus 2m. All right. Now from the question, it says, which extra distance in addition? So the key thing is, extra distance, which means that we want to find the difference of the circumference of the head's path around the world and minus the circumference of just the equator around the Earth. And now to find that, we would have to have the C sub H minus the circumference of the equator. Okay. Now for C sub H here, we have a bracket, and now we will have to use the distributive law. What that means is since we have 2 pi outside of the brackets, we multiply 2 pi by all elements inside the bracket. So we would have 2 pi times the radius of the equator, so 2 pi r sub e plus 2 pi times 2m. Well, 2 times 2 is 4 and then pi times n. And then we have to subtract uh, the circumference of the equator, which is just 2 pi times the radius of the equator. Okay, well here we can see we have 2 pi r sub e, and then we have minus 2 pi r sub e. So those two will cancel out. And then all we have left is 4 pi m. So this extra distance that this head travels is 4 pi m, 4 pi meters, and pi is around 3.14, so this is roughly around 12 meters extra, and that is the extra distance that the head of the cyclist travels around the world. So it's around 12 meters, which would be option D, roughly 12 meters. Now to solve this problem, we needed to know the formula for the circumference of a circle, and also we needed to know the distributive law. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at carebootests.com.